Palermo Bocca di Falco Airport in Sicily is the venue for the second round of the FIM S1 Supermoto World Championship. Originally the base of the Italian Regia Aeronautica, it was seized by Allied forces during the invasion of Sicily in July 1943 and used by the US Army Air Force's 12th Air Force as a combat airfield. After the war it was Palermo's main airport but nowadays it's used for general aviation. Today the runways come alive once more as the sound of the FIM S1 Supermoto World Championship kicks back into life for round two of the World Championship. Here's what happened round two of the FIM S1 Supermoto World Championship at Palermo in Sicily. In moto number one, it was a whole shot for Manu Hermanen, while the number 71 of Pavel Kmart found himself crashing out at turn one. But in the early stages, it was Manu Hermanen, followed by the number five of Adrian Scherer, Ivan Lazzarini, and Teo Monticelli. Thomas Scherer was around about fifth, sixth position in the early stages of the race. Thomas Scherer were on board with here as he tried to find a way past Teo Monticelli to climb up into fourth place. Eventually he did go through with a move at the end of the start finish straight, outbreaking the uh, Honda rider going into turn one. And we see that clearly now. That moved Thomas Scherer up into fourth position in the race. Next question though was, could he find a way to close in and then pass the number 30 of Ivan Lazzarini? A little bit further down the field, Christian Rivaglia was in a four-way battle for fifth position. But in moto number one, it was Manu Hermanen that took the flag ahead of Adrian Scherer. Lazzarini was third, Thomas Scherer was fourth. In the second race today, well, all eyes clearly were on the 131 of Manu Hermanen, but this time going through turn one, he ran wide. That allowed the number five of Adrian Scherer to sneak up alongside him. Even Lazzarini went through as well into second position. So Manu Hermanen found himself in third. Teo Monticelli found himself on the floor. Well, as the race went on, the battle between first and second decided to heat up and Manu Hermanen eventually went through on lap nine with that inside pass on Adrian Scherer. He then opened up a comfortable-ish lead over the defending champion. Thomas Scherer, meanwhile, he followed Ivan Lazzarini for two-thirds of the race before eventually finding a way through two laps to go. So Thomas Scherer was in third. Giovanni Boussai ended up crashing out in the closing stages of the race. But it was another win for Manu Hermann. Adrian Scherer again was second. Thomas Scherer was third. Lazzarini was fourth. Third and final race of the day. Manu Hermanen, 131 on the outside, looking to make it three out of three. But once again, for the second time of asking, Adrian Scherer snuck down the inside, just like Thomas Scherer did as he found a way through into uh, third place as he found a way past Ivan Lazzarini. Manu Hermanen then tried to close in on the number five of Adrian Scherer, and eventually he made the move here at about the midway point of the race. Shortly after that, Manu Hermanen would disappear from the top of the leaderboard, leaving the two Scherer brothers to duke it out for first and second. Thomas Scherer eventually going through to the lead on lap nine of 18. Whatever the problem was for Manu Hermanen, he picked himself up in 19th position and eventually battled through to finish in 16th position. So the chance of closing down the championship leader, Thomas Scherer, and uh, bringing that gap down to just four points going into the third round was, well, just slim, basically. Thomas Scherer won the race. Adrian Scherer won the Grand Prix. Even Lazzarini was third overall. And that was how it finished in Palermo. But the championship leader, after two rounds, still is Thomas Scherer on the TM machine.